Hello, and welcome to Nerdy Unreal Dev. Uh, just real quick, if you end up liking this video, uh, feel free to like and subscribe, and of course check out my Kofi down below for a direct tip, or you can even check out one of the affiliate links, you know, give those a look-see, it'll help support the channel. Uh, with that all said, let's move on. So as you can see, I am in Unreal Engine 5. And here I'm going to talk about a different aspect of the uh, water. Uh, right now my scalability is at high. In fact, because OBS is running, I'm going to put it at medium, at least for uh, while I'm doing this. Uh, so for those who don't know, uh, you can, when working with landscapes, also bring in oceans and lakes and river, and it's all based on uh, based on splines. So you can go into landscape mode and like select the splines. But that's not what we're going to be talking about. We're actually going under the sea. I'm off tune. Where we're going to talk about post-processing. Now this is what causes the shift from this to this. And the way that they do it is in the water body. Uh, so this one is for the ocean, uh, though I think they all use the same underwater post-processing. Um, that's what gives the bluish tint, the green, the sort of weird light reflection, bit of fog. They've got that already set up, but what if this maybe isn't quite to your liking? Uh, you might want something a little clearer. Uh, well, what we're going to do is, so we've already clicked water, body, ocean. So again, I've already set up the ocean. Uh, I'm sure there's a bazillion tutorials on that already. Um, I'm behind the curve. So now we're going to click on this little like folder with a magnifying glass that says browse to the... Um, post-processing material. So this is the material that they use for the post-processing. And now you can see it's a fairly large, uh, complicated graph. Uh, you can kind of see the various iterations they've uh, gone through uh, when trying to figure out how to exactly do it because you see the random abandoned nodes. The poor notes. Um, but that's okay. You don't have to understand this because you'll notice several of these are labeled. And it's not just to uh, help you know. What they did is they turned these into parameters. Now, I believe I've discussed parameters uh, before, but you can right click certain notes, like a constant note. So I'll just make a constant. And then you can right click convert to parameter and then name it. Well, what's the point of all that? Well, what we can do is instead of making changes in the main one, which would affect any other uh, iterations of the water, like there's a lot of things that are referencing this. You can right click, create material instance, and the usual naming thing is MI, material instance. And we'll just go like, so this is for the Science Museum. Under our post process, Science Museum. And then what you see here is, um, reduce this, is you have all sorts of um, parameters. So if we drag, first we're gonna save and drag it into this thing, we can now start making some changes. So if I select fog, you can really bump it up and barely see anything. Or, oh, don't, don't put it into negatives, kids. Uh, there are ways to clamp it down. Or you could put it at zero and it is pitch dark. It is like you are in the deep sea. Two. So the fogs, uh, the light scattering, um, 
And of course, you can hit the little arrow to reset the property. 0 0.002. Okay. So what if I did 0, 01? Oh. But yeah, so you can play with that. Um, max depth, near plane, um, wet alpha, wet hardness. Okay, so that's more... No, that's just moving. Uh, so you can play with these, get a better idea. You can also change the colors. So fog scatter color, right now it's the teal. Maybe you want it to be, uh, I don't know. Um, ooh. Want it to just be this sort of blue. Yeah, so you can... Oh, you have to actually click the check mark in order for the changes to make a difference. Don't forget that. So yeah, you can fiddle with these, uh, even make some kind of cool uh, alien waters, even. So if I... Yeah, oh. Watch me do that, like, several times. Uh, tech art's really just messing with numbers. But yeah, you can see, like, it's purple! We're in weird alien waters. So, that's how you can start making alterations to the underwater colors. Um, and really, like, you can make things, like, more realistic or more alien. Uh, so that's all. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.